Hello all, welcome to our trainings. In this session, we'll discuss about two integration style approaches which are available in Oracle ICS. Publish to OIC and another one is subscribe to OIC. So let's get into detail of one of the sample which I have designed. Okay, so like if you observe in the list of integration styles which are available in OIC, there are ICS. There are six styles which are available in ICS. And uh, so the one, the things which are discussing today in this particular session is publish to OIC as well as subscribe to OIC. Here, if you observe from the style itself, it is clearly telling that publish to OIC. So what exactly it means that you are publishing the content or the message to the messaging platform in the OIC. So here, if you observe like OIC or ICS, you know, sometimes they are used interchangeably, but this is an integration cloud service platform. Okay. So. In the publish to OIC, what we are trying to do is we are publishing the message to the ICS messaging platform. It will enqueue all the things which are published to that one. And subscriber to OIC is nothing but what we are trying to do is like if we are subscribing to that particular queue which is available in the OIC, and then we are reading that particular content which is available in that particular, uh, what you say, the messaging queue. So what is the first thing we want to do is we want to push the message to the ICS. And then later we want to pull the message from the ICS. So this kind of, you know, like uh, this push and pull generally like uh, it is used predominantly many of the normal B2 applications. Like a simple example I can tell you from the normal enterprise application background is let us say you have a supplier management system in which you have a supplier information. And whenever there is any data updated in your supplier management system, you want to publish this message to all the list of downstream systems about the information, right? So, but how do you send to each and every system? What you can do is we just publish this information to OIC and then list of the downstream system just need to subscribe to that particular messaging. That's it. Okay. So yeah, let's understand what is required to design this particular sample, right? I'll just show you the screenshots which are involved in this particular sample. The first thing we have to do is we have to design a publish to OIC messaging one, right? So we know that like whenever you want to create any integration in the OIC, the first thing we have to do is create a connection, right? So in this one, the first thing we have to do is create a connection. And I mentioned the connection as REST publisher, adapter style as REST, and the role is just a trigger, okay? So there is no need to mention any configuration details here. Just simple, as a role is trigger, you don't require to mention any of the remaining information. The next thing is a publish to, I mean the integration, and the integration style we have to just consider publish to OIC, publish to ICS or OIC, and the integration name I mentioned it as a REST publisher, description is publish, uh, publish message, yeah. okay? And here REST publisher is the, you know, the REST integration which I pushed here, and then that said, it just, it, just connect, it just gets connected to this particular messaging one. Okay, so this is the integration information. I'll give you more clarity. Like I'll show you the instance, uh, yeah, the details from the instance also, but high level, I just want to give you clarity here. So this is the first integration and the next integration is subscribe to voice integration, which is the second integration. In this, we just require one particular connection that is FTP connection. Okay, and then here, if you observe the integration style, so what we are doing is like, we are just subscribing to this one, right? Once you consider this particular styling, so it'll just, the source will be you know like your messaging service so when you come to this particular subscribe subscribe message integration automatically it'll ask you which are the publish which publisher you want to subscribe to right so i we just need to select the appropriate one okay once you select that one you just need to mention what do you want to do with that right like uh, once i subscribe to this information i want to I want to just retrieve this information to one of my downstream systems so in my case i'm just trying to write this content to the one of the ftp folder okay so like uh, to test it, what you can do is like take the publish message integration, test it from your SOAP UI, and you can also track it here in the monitoring window. So here, if you observe one, whenever we invoke the publish one, so automatically the subscriber is receiving the content. Okay. So now let's see the integrations, what integration like from the integration, uh, what you say, like uh, the list of integration and connection details in detail from here. Okay. So now the first thing is like a subscription, subscription, right? So let's see the connection here. So this is my rest publisher connection so i'll just click on this one you don't have any information here okay so just a trigger that's it so this is a publisher one right and just check the integration okay so the publish one right so yeah instead of in activating let me just open this first okay i'll just open this so now here if you observe so what we are trying to do you just click on this and get the details just click on update. 
I'll just see the details here. Click the basic information. And here, if you observe, this is my endpoint. And here, what we're trying to do, we're just giving the endpoint related to a slash message. And you're putting the information, okay? And configure a request payload here. Click on next. And now give the sample JSON format. So this is the content which I'm passing to this particular REST web service message, just only one particular attribute message. That's it. And yeah, so once this is done, So this is the information what we have in the publish message integration. Okay, just click on save and make sure that you have the appropriate, you know, like uh, the tracking variable assign. If not, it will not allow you to activate it, right? So I'll just assign this, save it. Okay, close it. Save again. Okay, so you can just activate it. I'll just activate it. Okay, just click on this link. It will tell you like what is the way you can invoke it, right? So this is the URL. Just copy this URL and you can invoke this URL from your SOAP UI or Postman client or any other risk client also. Either way it should work. Let's say I'll just mention this information. Make sure that you mention the credentials and the input parameter. I'll just click on this one. So let's see what it displays now. So it is still, yeah, it got accepted, right? 202. Now we can go to monitoring of integration. Yeah, monitoring page of integration and click on refresh. Okay, so these are the one which got completed, the completed one, right? So others were not in a proper state because I have deactivated them, right? There's reason it is showing some other, you know, lean accurate information kind of thing. So that's okay. So this is the content which I pass it to this one, okay? So why it is showing like a message, colon, hello kind of thing because, so we have mentioned, our tracking variable as a message, right? So whatever you pass, whatever you, we pass to this, whatever we pass for this particular REST web service, the publishing message, the parameter, the input parameter which we are passing, we are considering that as our tracking identifier. That's the reason it is just showing like this here, okay? Now, so next thing is like, a, let's come out the, come, come to the second integration. So the second integration require an FTP connection, right? So FTP, just go to the FTP connection. I'll show you the existing connection which I created, FTP or our trainings. If you don't have the FTP, what you can try to do is you can make use of your file adapter and use the local agent and you can do the FTP. I mean, the, I mean you can just write a file to your local system rather than to the FTP. So this is FTP, like uh, we have trigger and uh, invoke role. Server address, FTP port, and username and password, okay? So just click on close. Make sure that you just click on test so that the connection is active. Go to integrations now. So now, so in this particular one, right? Subscribe to subscribe message. I'll just show you the existing one, but later on again, I just want to show you one more live demonstration, the same one. Okay. So this is a source, like a, this is a you know like a, from this we want to retrieve it. This is a source which is having the content of the message, and we are writing this content to our FTP folder. I'll just click on edit here. So here it will tell you like to which folder I'm writing the content, right? Basic information, write message, sample JSON format. I want to write it, and to which location slash ICS messages. So this is a location. Let me show you my FTP. So this is a location I'm expecting the content to be written to. So so far I just received two messages. So like uh, this is a con this is how the format I want to mention message percentile sequence kind of stuff. Okay. So now what I do is I'll just activate this one. Okay. I'll rerun my publish one and let's see what exactly happens. Okay. I'll just activate. That's okay. You can include payload also. Yeah, it got activated, right? Now what I do is, let's go to our SOAP UI. Let's say, hello, third message to broadcast. And I'll just delete the existing files here from my FTP and uh, rerun from SOAP UI and see what happens now. Okay and refresh okay we got the content just see what is the content inside this right hello third message to broadcast 
let's try again i'll try one more hello fourth message to broadcast run it and now go again refresh yep i got the second one hello fourth message and you can also observe from the monitoring uh, window click on refresh here make sure that so whenever you are subscribe or whenever you publish automatically subscription sub subscription will get called automatically so like whenever we push it automatically the receiver is receiving it automatically right 11 12 13 14 it is happening instantly okay so now let's do it from scratch again okay so what what do we require the first thing is we require a rest connection to publish a message right so go to connection okay i'll just say rest I'll just give the name as XX, okay? So that will not confuse with the existing one. XX REST Publisher is my REST connection name. Click on create and the role is just trigger, okay? Click on test, save it and close it, okay? Now XX REST Publisher is done. And now go to integration. Click on create. So the first thing is you have to create a publish message one, right? So publish, we have to send the push the data to the oic or ics click on select i'll just mention x6 publish to ics or oic click on create so now what do you want to publish what are the input which i am passing from my source system or nothing but like uh, while invoking it i just want to pass that so from where i am getting that one that is from like what is the input we have to consider we want to consider our the rest as the input right the message the sample json format so like a general like here if you observe right using rest as a triggering is a one of the best and easiest way to invoke the ics one so that's why you know like whenever you see any of the easier samples you always observe the rest as a triggering point i'll just say publish to ics and consider the same stuff like a put and slash message and configure the request payload next now here consider json click on inline we just mentioned this okay consider this as a json sample click on okay next and done right so here if you observe that's it so the input connection from the rest we are providing the input simple message and that is getting uploaded into the IC messaging service, the message queue. Click on save and make sure that you mention the tracking variable, right? Click on this one, click on this hamburger icon, click on the message and click, just use this arrow so that it'll get moved to this, this particular one. Click on save, okay. Save again, close. So the publishing one is ready now, right? We can just activate it. Activate. Okay. Now click on this one and you can make a note of this particular endpoint URL. Okay. So right now, even if we run it, it's not no advantage. It may just accept and it may work, but it will not write to any place, right? Still, we can run it. I'll just run it here. It should not give an error. Okay. And you can just check from the monitoring whether this ran successfully or not, right? Just want to see that. Okay. XX published to ICS, ran completed successfully, green icon. Now, next one is the subscribe one, right? So, for the subscribe one, we require a destination where we want to receive the contents. In my case, I just want to receive the content to one of my FTP locations. So, I'll just create an FTP connection. Okay. So, click on create select the ftp select and xx ftp or our trainings i'll just go with the default role now we require four set of parameters so let me get my ip Okay. Username. Yeah. 
click on save make sure that you validate also it should be 100 percent okay done so the connection for the second integration is done now go to the integration here comes a very interesting one click on create now let's create a subscribe message one click on a subscribe one so what we want to do we want to read the content which is available in our ics messaging one right click on select so here if you observe let's say x6 subscribe ics message click on create and see what happens now right so here we are able to see the two published messaging integration which are available we just need to select the appropriate one we just, i just want to select the latest one which we created just now right x6 published to ics okay now what is the destination we want to do we want to write to this our xx ftp connection right so i'll just select this one now it will ask you what do you want to do with i'll just say write to file and uh, so i'll select sample json format the content which i want to consider as an input which is getting passed to the file click on next and mention to which location you want to write okay i'll select the existing one select this one and i'll just mention different format x6 message percentile sequence is it correct yeah x6 message percentile sequence percentile dot text click on next okay now choose the file choose the sample json file done okay now map this information from the ics messaging to the ftp file which we want to write it right click on this one click on plus symbol we'll have only one attribute right so we can just simply drag and drop so validate and close okay yep so make sure that you set the identifier click on actions tracking identifier oh we didn't right yeah thanks click on close save it okay now enable this one right now enable this so activate enable tracing activate activate it's okay include payload is required you can mention it or else you can ignore it as of now okay good so let's run this now so so we are running the xx published to ics integration right so let's I'll just give a different different information hey supplier one two three got updated okay let's publish this and see whether in the monitoring go to monitoring now refresh here we have to see two integrations ran right xx publish accept subscribe perfect and now go to the ftp and refresh we have to see the latest file xx message right and you should see the content also the one which mentioned hey supplier one two three got updated so this is how you know like you can push this information and as of now here we have used only one subscription some like you are publishing something but that can be subscribed by multiple multiple subscribers right we can do that kind of sample also i mean you can consider that kind of scenarios also okay thank you